Hi, welcome to the video guys. My name is Pushpin Dargel. Uh, now, as you can see, we have actually derived these two equations, that is, uh, the normal equations, which is, is equal to this, you know, I'm just going to write these equations here. And uh, summation of yi, summation of xi is going to be alpha hat into summation of xi plus beta hat into summation of xi square. And we calculated the value of alpha hat as well. How? Uh, I multiplied this by summation of xi square and uh, summation of xi square and summation of xi square and I multiplied this by summation of xi, summation of xi, it's going to be squared up and summation of xi so that at the end of the day I can just cancel these two things out and from here I can get the value of alpha hat to be equal to summation of xi square my, into summation of yi minus summation of xi into summation of yi xi divided by uh, n times summation of xi square minus summation of xi whole square. Now let's try to find the value of alpha hat in terms of beta hat, right? So beta hat is equal to n into summation of xi yi minus summation of xi into summation of yi divided by n times summation of xi square minus summation of xi whole square. Now I'm going to do a little bit of reverse engineering from here. I'm going to start with one thing. I'm going to start with y bar minus beta hat into x bar. Right? I'm going to start from here. Which is going to be summation of yi divided by n uh, minus beta hat. So the value of beta hat is going to be equal to n into summation of xi yi, you know, which you have to be take careful with the value of x and y, uh, minus summation of xi into summation of yi divided by n times summation of xi square minus summation of xi whole square. Uh, that thing is going to get multiplied by x bar, which is going to be summation of xi divided by n. So if I just focus on the right hand side here, uh, I can take m1 by n to be out and I can have summation of yi into this expression here which is n times summation of xi square minus summation of yi into this term which is going to be summation of xi whole square minus this term uh, times this term right uh, this is all totally out so mine times this term so this is going to be n times summation of xi into summation of xi yi minus summation of xi whole square sorry this is going to be plus here into summation of yi this totally gets divided by n into summation of xi square minus summation of xi whole square you can clearly see this and this cancels out each other so this is going to be 1 by n and i'm just going to draw a line here for the sake of simplicity I'm going to have summation of yi into uh, n is going to be here into summation of uh, xi square minus this n uh, into summation of xi into summation of xi yi divided by n times summation of xi square minus summation of xi whole square. And you can clearly see these both n's will cancel out this n. Now, what is the value of this thing here? You know, that is just calculated. This is equal to nothing but alpha hat. You clearly see, uh, this is the value of alpha hat, which is summation of xi square, summation of yi minus summation of xi. And this, that is actually equal to what we have calculated here. Which means I can say that alpha hat is equal to this. So, the, the second, the way to calculate the value of alpha, alpha hat is going to be equal to y bar minus beta hat into x bar, right? So that's a way for us to calculate the value of alpha hat. Fine, I suppose everyone is understanding my point over here, guys. So, uh, you know, let's, let's write down all the important points here that we just uh, derived from here. We got the normal equations that to be summation of yi. Uh, you know, let, let's forget about normal equations. You know, they've been thrown around a lot. Let's calculate the value of beta hat, that is n times... Uh, that's what we calculated, n times summation of, uh, you know, there's no n times, I'm just going to calculate xi minus x bar, uh, summation of xi minus x bar into yi minus y bar divided by 
summation of x minus xi minus x bar whole square, which is going to be the covariance of x and y divided by the variance of x. Right? And we calculated the value of alpha hat. If you know the value of alpha hat, you would know the value of beta hat as well, provided that you know the averages. This is going to be the value of beta hat. Now, this is you know the estimation of the least square coefficients. This is how you get the value of coefficients of the least square estimators. Now that is, you know, the mathematical properties of, of you know, of the least square estimators. What about the, uh, you know, the statistical properties of the least square estimators? So, the st statistical properties of these uh, least square estimators, uh, the first one that I would like to point out that the OLS estimators are expressed solely in terms of observable quantities right so they, they they are expressed solely in terms of the value of x and y right so they can be easily calculated right so so that's what they plus uh, they are also known as you know they are point estimators uh, as compared to interval estimators now what are point estimators point estimators give you the exact value so you'll get the exact value of beta hat and you'll get the exact value of alpha hat you are not not going to get uh, you know, kind of a range of values or, you know, two values, you're going to get an exact value because this is a linear uh, equation that we derive it from, which is why you're going to get the value to be exactly one point, right? So these are point-based estimators uh, rather than interval-based estimators. And let's say, you know, you want to calculate, uh, you know, you want to find the relationship between uh, your y hat and your x bar and your y bar. Uh, if you kind of just use this expression that is uh, y i hat uh, is equal to beta hat, uh, you know, or let's suppose I talk about y i, you know, this is simply but it's just y i, that is beta hat, sorry, that is alpha hat plus beta hat into x i, and you already know the value of alpha hat, which is equal to y bar minus beta 2 hat or y by minus beta hat. So y i is going to be equal to uh, y bar minus beta hat into x bar plus beta hat into x i and y i is going to be equal to y bar plus beta hat into x i minus x bar right so if your estimation is correct you know if your uh, if you if your value of x i is equal to x bar then y i would be equal to y bar so you can clearly see here uh, so if your if your sample completely represents the population uh, then your uh, least square estimators are going to give you the exact value of y. Uh, that is going to give you the mean value of the population, uh, population y, y value of population, right? So that is what it is going to give you. At the end of the day, it's just a you know just a linear equation uh, with a simple uh, you know graph and line. Uh, and at the end of the day, this is nothing but uh, y i that is equal to alpha hat plus beta hat x i. Right, something which we started from, right? So, uh, I suppose you're understanding my point over here, guys. Thank you very much for watching this video. And uh, the next video, we're going to be doing the assumptions which underlie the least square estimators, uh, which is going to further give rise, give for further give uh, you know, uh, birth to various other problems that can arise, right? So, this would be other video, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.